Hello everybody, it's me Laura again, and today I'd like to warmly welcome you to an internationally themed grocery food haul. So in this video today, I will be showing you a variety of different internationally themed foods that I picked up recently. So feel free to sit back and relax as I go through each of the items and hopefully make some relaxing and tingly sounds with them. There's going to be quite a lot of crinkling in today's video. So, as some of you may know or may not know, I reside in the US and whilst the United States has amazing foods, I can sometimes miss some of the foods and snacks that I was raised on in the UK. However, luckily, there are quite a few international food stores that supply foods from all over the world, and they are honestly one of my favourite places to visit not just for British snacks and foods, but to check out what countries sell what foods. So, interestingly today, um, the majority of these items are not British, and honestly, I don't know where most of these items are more commonly sold. So if you know, let me know in the comment section because I would really love to know. So I'm actually really excited to make this video today. Um, there will be no eating in this video today. So I have a whole table spread of food. What a delight. <laughs> um, so let's start off with this item. So, this is a bag of fried corn. This is Boy Bawang Cornic Hot Garlic Flavor. And this is fried corn. And this came in lots of different flavors. And me and my husband both like the sound of this item. Ingredients, fried corn, vegetable oil, may contain coconut oil and or palm oleine, iodized salt, garlic, monosodium glutamate as flavor enhancer, garlic powder, sugar and chili powder. So, I've never tried this item before, but that is the great thing about international food stores. You're going to find something that you've never had that sounds delicious. I would also encourage anybody from any country that is watching this video to check out maybe a local international food store near you. Not only will you find something new and interesting to eat, but you will also be supporting a local small business. So if you ever have a free afternoon or morning, Even if you buy nothing, you will see things that you have never seen before. I'll actually talk about some of the things that they sell at um, the one I go to. So yeah, I like the 
buff garlic on the front. <laughs> And um, the bag is pretty much full, so it's not. They're not ripping you off like walkers do at all crisp companies. I actually thought these were nuts at first, but turns out it's gone. So if you happen to know where this item is sold, maybe it's sold in a country that you live in, let me know. I would love to know. Okay, so that's the first item. There may be some unintended crinkling in the background. So, let's do this item next. This is a bag of happy hot wasabi flavoured peas. I love the packaging of these. So, my husband loves wasabi peas and so when we go to this particular international store we'll normally pick up some wasabi peas for him. I, however, really do not like wasabi. But for those of you that do like wasabi, this is very intense and quite authentic to the very strong flavour wasabi is made up of. So, one of the other times that we've gone, one thing I really like about uh, this particular international store is that it changes its content around quite frequently, so the fresh produce will change all the time, so every time you visit there will most likely be something different for you to try. So there was one time they had, I think it was these Japanese cakes, it's like a Swiss roll and beautifully decorated. That was pretty This contains green peas, wheat flour, sugar, horseradish powder, and a few other ingredients. Do a little bit of tapping. amazing thing that they sell are these cakes. I'm pretty sure they are Russian. If there is anybody Russian or is anyone that is familiar with Russian foods, let me know. Um, they sell these giant cakes. Um, I think they're mostly refrigerated or frozen. I think they're called celebration cakes, but they're very grandiose and they are very pretty. Those always look so good, those always catch my eye every single time we go. And they have... They have a lot of British snacks. Fortunately, I can tell what items are stale and what items are not by feeling them, and sometimes there are stale batches of foods, so I avoid those. Obviously, 
when you're importing those things can happen depending on storage so yeah, these are wasabi bees I told you it'd be an interesting video next let's go to this item we got two of these in different flavors and I'll show you the next one in a second I feel terrible for not knowing how to pronounce this Petitki? 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 So this is called Petitki I have no idea where this item is commonly sold but it looked cute and it looked delicious so we got it this appears to be milk and honey I'm not even going to try to pronounce what is on the front I don't even recognize the language it may say on the back Polish? is this Polish? I think this name is Polish well that's cool okay so I think this is Polish and it's this small little bag they're really cheap but it must be just milk and honey flavoured biscuits I don't see a cream or a filling to them same thing with the bear in the corner just check it out So, next I picked up three of these in different flavours. This isn't new to us. We've had these lots of times before because lots of different stores sell these. Um, these used to be sold at World Market, which is the biggest um, international food store thing in the US. <laughs> This place has these in cherry, strawberry, orange, and raspberry. I would absolutely highly suggest the orange and the raspberry flavors of these. They are so delicious. So, for those of you familiar with Jaff 
Puffer Cakes. This is basically what those are. I'm just excited that they uh, brought these out in lots of different flavours. Uh, we get these all the time, but I have no idea where these are from. Um, Delishi? Help. <laughs> um, artificially flavoured European biscuits. Um, this again says they are made in Poland, so maybe these are Polish in nature. Regardless, they are absolutely delicious, and I would highly recommend these. These taste so good. Cherry is not my particular favourite. I tend to opt more for the raspberry and the orange. These are really cheap too, especially for being an imported item. These are really good. It's interesting to see the differences between the UK and the US in terms of snacks and sweets, chocolates, candies, and what each country sells individually. So for example, there is nothing like a Jaffa cake here. It's just not a thing. I also can't get Jaffa cake the wool things um, at the international food store. But these are just fine. These are delicious. Pretty sure Jaffa cakes don't come in raspberries, so one point to this country. For those of you that don't know what a Jaffa cake is, or one of these cakes, it is basically much debated between people, a combination of a biscuit and a cake with a gelatin laid on top with chocolate on top of that. A Jaffa cake is normally orange, but these come in lots of different flavours. And I would highly suggest giving all of them a go. The strawberry, on the other hand, is not great. It's really not great. Wouldn't recommend that one. It's quite fake tasting, almost like um, cough medicine. Uh, artificial. Like, extremely artificial. Okay. So that is these. They are delicious. They are scrumptious. Try them. If you can find them. I'm gonna go for this one just because it's next to me. Um, I recently, I think, spoke about Monster Munch in a video. I think it was the Pure Whispers one. Now, I wasn't able to find company that I'm familiar with, but I did find Tato. Now, Tato are... are they Irish? Are they Irish? I think... I feel terrible now, I don't know. I think they are. Let me know. But I did find Monster Munch Hot and Spicy by Tato. I think the company that I like them from is um, Walkers or something like that. But I was really happy that I found these because these are easily one of my favourite crisps. Um, so I saw these and I thought that I would give these a go. I'm sure they're similar enough. These contain hot and spicy flavour. Paprika extract, black pepper, onion powder, and maize. I like crisps that are mostly maize. There are quite a few like that. Uh, chip sticks, for example, I think are mostly maize. They taste really good. 
Uh, I've had a couple of Tato crisps before. I had prawn cocktail at one point. It was really nice. I think it's basically just Walkers slash Lays. Um, so these are the hot and spicy flavor of these, and I'm going to eat all of these in a little bit. products in the US at most grocery stores, but there is a certain style of cracker bread, of crisp bread, that we have been struggling to find, and that is Rivita cracker bread. Rivita cracker bread is not salt in the US, so, we got this as, hopefully, easily, or more easier, accessible placement for them. So this is nothing particularly exciting, just Wasser's Crisp and Light 7 grades. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm excited to. This and cream cheese. So, the next item, I'm not going to hold this one for long because this product has a habit of melting really quickly. So, hold it like this. So, I saw online that McVitie's Digestives started to sell different flavours a few months ago, and we love McVitie's digestives. You can get chocolate, plain and caramel in some places, but I hadn't seen this flavour yet. And for those of you that don't know, this is just a plain biscuit with chocolate on the top, but like the best biscuit with the best chocolate on top. It's so good. It takes the most simple thing, makes it amazing. Digest it, so good. But they started making cherry bakewell flavoured ones, strawberries and cream, and marmalade on toast. But this one sounded the most appetizing. So to get these a go. Do some subtle crinkle scratching.
items left. Next up we have a bag of potato spring onion crisps. No. Interestingly, it feels like the bag has been filled up to the top but not through width. So the bag is really empty. Set deep in Ulster's countryside is Tato Castle, where Tato have been making some of the world's best loved crisps and snacks since 1956. Using the best local ingredients, Mr. Tato, this guy, selects the finest, specially grown spuds, gently cooking them until crisp and golden. Finally, in a secret part of the Tato Castle, our crisps are given their special flavour, ensuring you get irresistible crisps every time. So I've had the prawn cocktail ones, those really good, and the spring onion ones sounded good this time. cooked since 1956. I think these are gonna be really good. Um, the last ones I had really focused on flavour. So I look forward to giving these a try. Oh, I found another item. Just casually finding food. Next item that we got are these butter cookies. These are by a company called Jan's or Jan's Butter Coconut Original Taste. And these look absolutely delicious, and I have no idea where these are more commonly sold. Say that these are a product of Indonesia. So I'm curious if any of you have tried these before. The packaging is really amazing. It has like a subtle decoration on the top. The packaging's really high quality and thick. They just sounded really delicious. This company had a few different styles of butter cookie there. This one just looked the most appetizing. Okay. And last. Certainly not least. Is licorice or sorts by Bassett's. This is a very nostalgic sweet to me. Always a bag of these in the house growing up. It probably still is, honestly. So these are an assortment of licorice flavoured sweets. And these are quintessentially British. Um, as I'm sure Bassett is in general, I think. But it's always had guy as the logo. Brand ambassador. 
mascot. Um, so it's full of different shaped sweets. So you have these, where this O is. This is coconut around that, and it's just a little bit of licorice in the middle. Um, these are kind of licorice sweets for people that don't like licorice. Obviously, licorice is very strong, pungent, and you either love it or hate it. Um, I don't particularly like licorice, but the way that it binds with the sweet around it is really yummy. Um, however, they do trick you with these ones. Um, these look like berry sweets, but they're not. It's just licorice. It's not great. I really like these ones, these ones, the cube ones, and those ones that are really yummy. So that is all of the snacks that I have to show you today. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Take care, everybody.